Example, accumulating paid absences. An entity has 100 employees entitled to five working days of paid sick leave for each year. Unused sick leave may be carried forward for one calendar year. Sick leave is first out of the current year's entitlement and then out of any balance brought forward from the previous year. Now, when you think about your recon, remember you will have an opening balance and this will be the amount from your prior year. Then you will have your accrued leave and this is your leave for the current year and in this scenario we have a hundred employees times the five days and we have the utilized remember utilized being used in the current year and this shall result in your closing balance for the current year now they indicate to us that sick leave is first taken out of the current year's entitlement therefore when you look at your recon sick leave will first be from the accrued leave for the current year therefore we will first use the accrued leave and then from our opening balance at 31 December 2014 the average unused entitlement is two days per employee. The entity reliably expects that 92 employees will take no more than five days of sick leave in 20.15 and that the remaining eight employees will take an average of six and a half days each. What is the accumulating days the entity expects to recognize at the end of 2014. You will identify that I've included a table on your right hand side. Now we need to distinguish between the 92 employees and the 8 employees. They've indicated to us that the entity reliably expects that 92 employees will take no more than 5 days of sick leave. Okay? Now, no more than five days of sick leave. Now, if you look at my table, accrued in 2015 will be the five days per employee. Therefore, 92 of them will take the five days that will accrue to them. Okay? And the remaining eight employees will take an average of six and a half days each. Therefore, our eight employees will receive five days, but they are going to use six and a half days. Okay? Therefore, when you look at this, we don't know what is the opening balance. They didn't provide this to us. But based on this, we need to provide for the fact that there will be an additional one and a half day per employee that will be used, utilized in 20.15. Therefore, the accumulating days the entity expect to recognize will be one and a half times eight employees. Now guys, you can use your timeline as well. When you look at your timeline, if this is our 2014 year, each employee receives five days. And for the following year, they will receive an additional five days, which is our 20.15 year. Now we expect that 92 employees will use five days and we expect that eight employees will use six and a half days. Therefore, we need to provide for the fact that there will be an additional one and a half days used. But the question is actually, what is the opening balance? Now, the solution to this example is 12 days.
Example, non-accumulating paid absences. Mr. X earns a thousand rand per workday as employee benefit. This is based on a 20 workday month on average. Mr. X is entitled to paid sick leave of five workdays per annum. If not taken, the sick leave expires. During the year ended 31 December 2014, Mr. X was sick for three workdays. The year had a total of 206 workdays. Now, if there's a total of 206 workdays, the total salary paid to Mr. X will be 260 times 1,000 and this will be 260,000. Now, they indicate to us that Mr. X was sick for three days, 3,000. Therefore, our journal entry will be debit the salary with a 25700, debit sick leave in our profit or loss being paid out, 3,000, and credit our bank account with a 260,000.